When purchasing a car, it's important to apply the 24-10 rule to make sure that it fits within your budget. If you don't follow the 24-10 rule and purchase a car that is out of your budget, then this could cause some serious financial issues later on that you may not even recognize in the moment. So in this video, I'll go over the 24-10 rule when it comes to affording a car, and then I'll show you a real life example of how to apply this rule. First, let's go over what the 24-10 rule is. So the 20 stands for a 20% down payment of whatever car you're purchasing. So if it's a $10,000 car, you would have to put a $2,000 down payment. The four stands for four year financing plan. So that could be 48 months over the course of 48 months. And the 10 stands for 10% of your gross monthly income should be put towards your car purchase which includes gas, insurance, as well as the financing costs. By following the 24-10 rule, you'll know for sure if you could afford a car or not and if it fits into your monthly budget. The 24-10 rule makes a lot more sense when applied to a real life example. So let's just say someone makes $50,000 a year and they wanna purchase a $20,000 car. So if someone makes $50,000 a year, that means their monthly income is $4,166, which means 10% of their per month payment for a car should be $416.66. So in this example, I'm gonna compare two people, one person who applies the 2410 rule and one person who does not. Let's start with the person who applies the 2410 rule. So someone with a $50,000 income, they wanna purchase a $20,000 car. That means 20% down payment would be $2,000 then 5% interest. So this 5% number, it depends on someone's credit score, but just to keep numbers simple, let's just say it's a 5% interest finance plan. They're gonna do that over four years, which is 48 months, which brings the payment to $415. Now to figure out the 10% payment per month rule with the car, if someone has a $50,000 income, that means they're making $4,166 per month. And if that was 10% of that, that would be $416.66 is how much the car payment should be per month. So with this example, the $415 per month payment with the $20,000 car, it is slightly under that 10% budget, but this doesn't account for gas, insurance, as well as other car payments. And with this first example, a person would pay $1,897 in interest over the course of four years. Now for the second example, someone with a $50,000 income also wants to buy a $20,000 car. They're not gonna follow that 20% down payment rule, so they're gonna put 0% down payment, so it's $0. They're gonna have an interest rate of 5%, so it's gonna be 5% of that full $20,000 and that's gonna be over the course of five years. It's, they decided to do a 60 month plan. That means the per month payment is gonna be $377, which seems lower than the other one, which is $415, but the only problem is the interest rate over the course of five years, or the interest paid, is gonna be $2,645. So with this second example, it's gonna, the interest difference they're gonna pay an extra $1,499.75 in interest. That's an extra $1,500 out of their pocket that's gonna rob their future. When comparing the numbers month to month, it may not seem like that much of a dollar difference, but to pay an extra $1,500 in interest when you don't have to, you could use that $1,500 for a lot of other things with regards to the car. That could cover gas for a year, that could cover insurance, that could cover so many other things. $1,500 lost is not something to take lightly. Also, let's keep in mind, these are pretty conservative numbers. Someone with a $50,000 income who wants to buy a $20,000 car, it's usually someone with a $50,000 income wants to buy a $30,000 or $40,000 car, which over the long term really eats away at not only their monthly payments and budget, but interest paid over time. By the way, I'm David, and if you want wise money tips to build a wealthy future, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and if you appreciate the time, energy, and effort that goes into making a video like this, hit the like button. Now, when it comes to purchasing a car, the 24-10 rule is great to figure out what's in your budget, but there are so many other factors when it comes to buying cars. Is it a new car? Is it a used car? We all know that the value of a new car depreciates 
30% as soon as it leaves the lot. But some other factors to keep in mind is reliability. Is this car going to last a long time? Are you having long commutes? Is it a car that you've loved ever since you were 10 years old and have always wanted to buy it? The resale value of the car, is this car not going to depreciate in value as much over time? And if you plan on driving it over seven years, can you sell it for 50%, which I think is a pretty good deal? Is it a fuel efficient car? So over the lifetime of having the car, are you going to save a lot more on gas compared to a regular gas guzzler? So these are some other factors that go into buying a car that you can't really quantify into numbers according to a budget. So my point is that the 24-10 rule doesn't apply to every single car purchase you're going to make. There are some other factors that come into play. But it does serve as a good guideline to figure out what type of car you could afford according to your budget. And if you wanted to figure out what type of budget fits your needs, I highly recommend the 50, 30, 20 budget. You could click this video right over here. It goes more in detail of how to figure out your 50, 30, 20 budget. So you could click that video right now and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.